Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with run VB script action in Power Automate for desktop. Before going to work with run VB script action, we will learn what is VB script. Microsoft VB script generally we will call it as visual basic script it is general purpose lightweight and active scripting long ways developed by microsoft that is modeled on visual basic nowadays vb script is the primary scripting long ways for quick test professional which is a test automation tool vb script allows microsoft windows system administrators to generate powerful tools for managing computers with error handling, subroutines, and other advanced programming constructs. All right, now we'll learn about run VB script action. Run VB script action allows you to execute VB script scripts in our desktop flows. This action accepts a VB script blocks of code as an input and stores the result of the implementation in the VB script output variable. Additionally, the action creates the script error variable that stores potential errors. There you can see we are having two variables over here that is variable produced. One is VB script output, another one script errors. All right, before going to learn about run VB script action, let me show you a small example in the Excel where we are going to use this VB script action. If you see on my screen, I'm having employee details, which are having their salaries in the respective months. You can see I'm having employee ID and 12 months that is from starting from January to December, I'm having their salaries in the respective rows. Along with that, I'm having overtime hours, which they have worked for the entire year. So, one of the employee, that is employee ID 532454 has worked 40 hours overtime in this year. And then we got the overtime amount for this. If you see, I have calculated with number of hours into 500 rupees per hour I have calculated. And the overtime amount that he got it in the respective months. In our scenario, to calculate the average salary of each and every employee, I'm going to use VB script over here. To run the VB script, I'm going to use run VB script action. Along with that, I will explain some of the new concepts over here or the actions that is get first free column slash row from the Excel worksheet. How can I get the first free column or the free first row by using the action called get first free column or row from the Excel worksheet action? All right. Now, as a first step, I need to launch the Excel over here. How can I go ahead and launch the Excel? I'm going to use the action over here as launch Excel. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, I'm going to give the properties for this, the launch Excel. I want to use the blank document or I want to open the following document. I'm already having a document so that I'm going to open the following document and I'm going to give the path over here that is C colon users downloads and inside that I'm having employees is the Excel file. Let me select that and then I'm going to click on open. Now to make you understand, I'm going to make it visible, make instances visible over here. All right, let me click on save. Now if you observe, I'm having n number of rows over here, but how can I know that one there are n number of rows or columns over here. There is one action that we have that is get first free column or row from the Excel worksheet. By using that action, we can get the number of rows, how many rows are there, how many columns are available in the Excel worksheet. So over here, the first free row is nothing but this is the sixth one. So that we will get, these are the rows which we are having. That is number of rows are five and then we will get along with the headers also we will get the data. Now over here in the Excel, I'm having get first free column slash row from Excel worksheet. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Let me explain you about these properties over here. It will retrieve the first free column or the row of the active worksheet. 
this is useful for adding new data into the worksheet that already had the data all right so if you see the parameters i'm having only single parameter that is excel instance we have already created a variable in the launch excel that is excel instance the same variable we are going to use it right and if you see the variables produced i'm having first free column as well as first free row the first free column will get the which is the first column is free so and the second one which is the first free row that we will get it from the particular excel which is from the active worksheet all right let me click on save now from this thing that we got the column as well as the rows now i want to read the data from the particular excel how can i go ahead and do that i'm going to use the action read from excel worksheet action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace so what it will do it will get the data from the excel it will read the data from the excel right now if you see the excel instance i'm having excel instance variable and over here retrieve the parameter i don't want to retrieve from the single value i want to retrieve the range of cells over here so that i will get the data from the entire data sheet or entire worksheet right so over here if you see the start column i just want to read the data from the column b to o column it will comes as column 2 over here and the respective things you can see over here 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 15th is the overtime amount i want to read this entire data over here right from 2 to 15th row 15th column i need to read the data so i'm going to give it as start column as 2 and the start row over here as 1 i will i will change it again because of i'm having n number of rows over here and the end column is 15 and the end row is i can say right now as 1 all right now if you see advanced i don't want to get it any get cell content as text or the first line of range of contents column i don't want to give it anything right now all right let me click on save now i'm having n number of over here how can i go ahead and get it the all the details so that i will use it for the data to calculate or to get the average salary right for that i will use loop action let me drag and drop this loop action onto the workspace so over here if you see the parameters what it the loop action will do it will iterate a blocks of actions for the specified number of times right so the first thing is that it has to start from two because of we have given the uh, row number as two we are having header as one under one as two over here and the end i have to give the first free number of rows right what is the first free number of row that will get it as six so i need to stop it at five so that what we'll do 6 minus 1 that is first free row minus 1 we need to do that now i'm going to give the end to i'm going to take the variable that is first free row minus 1 all right now each and every time i need to increase the row or the loop so i'm going to increase by 1 so that the output will be stored in the loop index all right let me click on save now while i'm going to read each and every row i need to use read from excel worksheet so that i'm going to drag this action inside the loop action now i will change the properties of the read from excel worksheet there start row i'm going to give it as loop index how can i get the variable i'm going to use over here as functions uh, as variables and there we can see i'm having loop index at the same time i'm going to use the end row because of every row i'm going to use the same loop index so that the data will be stored in the loop index right one two three and so on we will get inside the loop index now whatever the data it is coming i will store in the variable produce that is excel data i'm going to rename it as employee data all right now let me click on save now up to here if you see each and every row of data will be stored inside the 
employee details variable right if it is going through looping every time it will get the data and then it will stores inside the employee data variable right while looping first loop it will go get this value and the second loop third loop fourth loop it will get each and every row over here now we got the data now i need to calculate the average salary of this employee all right now you may ask the, that we are having simple concept like we can do the sum, can do the sum of the rows and then we can calculate the data easily i agree with that but sometimes we need to use the vba script to to work on the complex task in that case we need to use run vba script action that's the reason over here i'm going to show this small example over here how to work with run vba script action all right now i need to calculate the data over here right so that what i can do i'm going to use run vb script action let me drag and drop this run vb script action onto the workspace inside loop action over here what is the vb script we need to give over here if you observe run vb script which executes some custom vb script code and retrieves its output into the variable if you see the select parameters i will provide vb script to run the script which i need to run and the data will be stored inside the variables that is one is vb script output another one if there is any errors in that case the variable script error will store the potential errors all right now over here how i am going to define it i am going to give result equal to the employee data i am going to give this entire employee data over here now if you observe i'm going to calculate employee data of 0 to 0 now if you observe over here it is coming as a single row inside my data table right so that what will happen it will comes as 0 row 0 and column 0 row 0 column 1 row 0 column 2 3 4 5 6 and respectively we will get it as employee data of 13 0 row and 13 right so that i'm going to give the same values over here now if you observe i'm going to sum all these values over here and then to calculate the average salary what he got it in every month i'm going to divide by 12 over here there you can see i'm going to divide by 12 right now i got the output after calculating with all the sum of the values divided by 12 now how can i go ahead and show the output i need to get the output into the vb script output what is the output over here i'm going to give the script as w script dot echo so what is the output that we need to give the result right over here we have given the result value to get all the output all the calc all the average salary of the employee now i want to give it as an output so that the output will be stored inside the vb script output right i'm going to give it i'm going to change it as average salary output all right now let's click on save now we got the output over here now i need to write it back to the excel all right so that the first thing is that the output we got it in the text format as the variable i need to convert that text into number how can i convert it by using convert text to number let me drag and drop this convert text to number action onto the workspace inside my loop now over here if you see the parameter for the convert text to number the text will be converted to a number how can we get it what is the variable that we need to select that is average salary output all right let me click on save before that if you see the variable produce i'm going to get it as text as number so that i'm going to change it as average salary number now let's click on save now whatever the output we have converted i need to write it into my excel where i need to write it in this column that is average salary for each and every row i need to write the data over here for that what i will do i will get the values and i will write the values to the excel worksheet how can we go ahead and write the data to the excel worksheet by using write to excel worksheet action 
let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace inside the loop there you can see we are having the properties for write to excel worksheet there is the value to write what is the value average salary number is the output right after conversion i'm going to take it the same thing average salary number and where the write mode on specified cell what is the cell that we will get it there's the column number 16 and the row will get it as loop index right so the first time we are going to get it every time we are going to make it loop index as one two three and so on so row number one and 16th column we are going to write the data now let me click on save now after writing the data into the excel worksheet i need to save the excel file how can i go ahead and save it by using save excel action let me drag and drop this action save excel action onto the workspace inside the loop action there over here you can see excel instance inside the save excel action we are having excel instance as excel instance variable and save mode i'm going to give it as save document all right let me click on save now you may ask for the simple run vb script action why we have expended this much of flow over here desktop flow over here because of if you know how to use the particular action then it is very easy to understand over there that's why i have shown you the entire excel over here and the remaining actions over here very clearly so that you will understand very easily and when and how to use the particular run vb script action all right now our flow is ready now let me click on save now what i will do i'm going to put a breakpoint over here where you can where i can explain each and every step very clearly all right now let's click on run to see the output flow execution started the first action which will launch an excel there you can see at the first step it will launch an excel and then we are having the breakpoint by using the second action it will get the first three rows and columns now let me run the next action there you can see i'm having first free column as 17 let me click on the variables there you can see i'm having the output as 17 and the first free row as 6 right we got the outputs over here into the variable now if you see over here i am having this is the 17th column and the row is the 6 is the row which is blank right this is the 15th and over here you can see here is the 16th there you will get it this one the blank column over here now it is going through the loop and then it will run this data now let me run the next action there it is going to read the data and it will stores inside the employee data there you can see i'm having employee data now let me open this variable or data table there you can see i'm having the columns over here that is column 0 to column 14 every data that we are going to do that except this column 13 we are not going to use because of this column 13 is overtime hours number of hours that he has overtime worked for that's the reason we are not going to use this column and if you see it will start from 1 it index starts with 0 to 13 that's the reason in our vb script we have used the script in such a way employee data of 0 of 0 that starts from column of 0 that is row of 0 and ends with column of 0 and row of 13 right let me click on close now once it has been calculated what it will do it will goes to the run vb script and the data will be stored inside the average salary output there you can see i am having salary as output salary variable after calculating that i got the output as 13750 rupees all right now let me go to the next step it is converting the text to number by using convert text to number and then it is going to write the data to the excel worksheet and then it is going to be doing the same process and it is going to save the excel and it is going to be repeated the process n number of times based on the number of rows are available in the excel worksheet all right there if you observe the data is automatically getting calculated and then it is going to store the data inside that 
right now once again let me show you that let me delete this rows over here and then once again i'm going to save this excel and i have removed the breakpoint and then let's run the flow to see the output once again flow execution started and there if you see while at the time of execution itself you can get the data into the average salary there you can see the first row is 13750 rupees and the second one 13916 14000 13791 respective employees average salary over here all right i hope you understand how to work with run vb script action which allows to execute vb scripts in our desktop flow as part of this tutorial Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.